So today I am going to be making my in bulk wreath. So I have some ribbon. This is just like um, satin ribbon. Let me open it for you. Can you see that? It's actually ivory. I've got some of this like grey moss. So I've got that. I've got my Bridget's Cross that I recorded how I made. So I'll leave that linked below. I've obviously got my wreath that I got from Hobbycraft. I've got some florist wire in case I need it. I've got my glue gun because I think that's predominantly what I'm going to use. And I've got some of these flowers that I also got from Hobbycraft. Um, a lot of this stuff I pretty much got from Hobbycraft. So I'll leave my haul from when I got it linked below also. So I'm going to just take off the label because we don't want that so here's what it's looking like I don't think it's completely straight it's more of an oblong I don't know if I'm going to do it like that or like that we'll see so I'm going to put in my glue stick into my glue gun cool. roll up my sleeve that's why I need to work out what I want my top to be I think I want this point to be my top. So what I'm going to start off, I'm going to make like a hook so I can hook it up onto my door. Or not a hook, what's that? A handle. I'm going to make a handle just so I can actually hang it onto my door. So I'm going to put a bit of hot glue on there and stick that together. So, being very gentle not to burn myself. Oh, it nearly went. <laughs> like that. Obviously, once it dries, it's going to be a bit more secure. And that, I obviously want to be on the back side. So, I'm going to find my, my middle point of where I want it to sit. And I'm going to glue that on the back like so, so I can just hook it. So again, I'm gonna take my hot glue.
So here's what it's looking like. The back side of it looks really messy, but you're not gonna see that. Um, I hot glued them all in place so they wouldn't move. And here's what it's looking like. They're not perfectly spaced, but I think it looks pretty. So now I'm gonna work out where I want the rest of my decorations. Um, my centerpiece, I think, is actually gonna be my cross. And I'm not sure where to put it. Um, so I'm thinking either at the top, at the bottom, or to a side. Um, so now I'm just gonna play around with the flowers and the cross and the moss. I'm not 100% if I'm gonna use this because there is foliage within the flowers. So I'm gonna play around and then just see what I like. And when I'm happy with the overall look, then obviously I'm gonna hot glue it down where I want it. But that hot glue has stuck that ribbon on tight. Even to the point where, where I glued one, I was like, oh, I'm not really happy I'm gonna move it. No, you can't move it. It's Once it's hot glued and it's dry, it's there to stay. So I'm just gonna have a look now and see where I want so I think it. what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick that on that side and then um, take obviously these apart and take the stems off and just have the leaves down there with that flower, this flower on top and then some foliage in the middle, just a little bit of that foliage. So I'm gonna hot glue that now. But you can pretty much get creative and and just place it to where you like to see it. That's where sort of your artistic nature sort of comes out in itself.
So I'm all done and I'm really happy with the way it looks. I'm going to spin you around and show you what it looks like and then I'm going to put it on my door just temporarily just to show you what it looks like against my door. So yeah, let me show you what it looks like. So that's what it's looking like and now I'm going to stick it on my door. So, please excuse the state of the door, because you know when you're recording, you're like, that door's dirty and it needs to clean. It's something I'll do in the, when the weather gets warmer, and I'm sure it will look lovely then. Um, but yeah, what do we think? Consider I got the stuff really cheap, made it myself. I think I've done, I think I've done quite well. So yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye.